Welcome to another video. We've all been in this situation. Pretty frustrating. What do you do about it? In the past, you had to hunt out someone with a pair of jumper leads and uh, go battery to battery. I've also seen use of these Anderson plugs. You wire that direct to your battery terminals, have this on one bike, your mate has one on his bike, and then you carry a another length of this cable uh, to use as a, as a bit of a jumper lead itself. Nowadays, most people seem to have the uh, jump start packs. So the, these are just the lithium batteries with the uh, jumper leads on them. Which is fine if you can easily get to your battery. However, on most bikes, it's a bit of a, a bit of an effort. If you happen to be uh, carting luggage, that means removing all your luggage, removing the seat, and getting down to your battery terminals, hooking up your jump start to the battery terminals, start it, put your seat back on, bolt it all back together, put all your luggage on, and then you stall it. So. An easier way that I have found is still using the jump start pack but without the alligator clips. So now jump start pack up under here I have this little cable which just sits there. That's just got a little cap on it. And that little plug plugs directly into that on the jump start. So now all I do is plug that in there and then hit the button. Pull the jump start pack off, little dust cap back on, shove it back on, up under there, and away we go. So this, this plug is called an AC5 plug, you can find them on eBay. This part is the female version of the plug, which fits into the male end on the jump start unit itself. And that is on a short piece of lead that goes back to the battery there and across to the negative. Something to keep in mind is that the length of this cable, the plug, when it's when it's poked up underneath here, it just sits just sits in on that little lip. If it's too long, it'll flap down. If it's too short, you won't have enough. When you're pulling it out from underneath it, it won't stick down enough to to be able to connect up the other thing too is to make sure that the that the cable that runs back to the battery is pushed up against that side because along this channel although it looks nice and clear that's where your seat uh, sits so you can't have anything on that so keep that channel clear and keep and have this piece of cable cut to the right length Quite a few bikes have the have the Optimate uh, charging lead sort of connected in, in the airbox or wherever. The wire is probably not thick enough, and the current 
going through it will probably blow the fuse that's in it so I wouldn't recommend using the SAE connector or Optimate connector to jump start the bike off that battery pack. Made my little lead, I bought the, bought the plugs, cut up one of these that I had before. It's fairly thick cable, I'm not sure the size of it, but it's it's basically as much cable as possible that I could get into the end of one of these little connectors and solder that in. That's it there, you can see that it's it's a fairly thick piece of wire for scale. There you go, there's probably four mil of copper in that I'm guessing. About a five mil wire, something. Yeah, so there's probably easy ways to do it. You can probably just buy um, a lead with that EC5 plug already on it. Or really if you wanted to, you could probably just chop the alligator clips off these and use that wire that direct back to your battery or something. So that's my solution. It's nice and simple. It means my jump starting capabilities are now all here. I'm not reliant on another vehicle. I'm not re I don't need to carry uh, leads or anything. And I don't need to take my seat off and my luggage off to jump start the bike. So that's it for this video. I hope you've learned something and uh, good luck.